So in this session, we are basically going to see how to install this uh, SQL Server Management Studio. So I'm in the Server Management Studio page. So you have to just go to the Google and search for how to download uh, SQL Server Management Studio. So once you have done that, you will be redirected to this particular page. Download this. Okay. And once you have downloaded it, it will be then in your mm, in the downloads. And it is just a sequence of very easy steps. Okay. So you have to give OK and uh, I have already installed this so it is not popping up with uh, the uh, location where it has to be installed otherwise it it would directly give you the location to install you have to just click with a series of the steps and it will not take much of a time it just takes al around or almost like 550 to 560 MB so you have to just click install and once it is done you have to do the close okay so that's all it is so that's all from that part and then once it is done uh, you can uh, go to the uh, yeah so it will be here or you could search for the SQL server management studio so once it is done your server management studio will be open yeah so here it will ask for the Windows authentication and you have also option for server or uh, SQL server authentication so I'll be explaining about this SQL server authentication in the next video but otherwise as of now you could just go with the windows authentication and give connect so you will be now connected to the database so if you want to disconnect okay you can just give here or else if you want to connect to some other database you can just click over here and uh, you can select uh, whichever server name which you want here so if you have multiple servers you are working with you could just do that otherwise you could just click oh, connect so you'll be connected to the database so the database you will have the this database tables and you will have the default databases available right so uh, if you want different snapshots to be there for different applications you can upload that okay and use it so this is how basically it will work okay and if you want to see the different logins you can go to the security security and in the security you can have you can see the different logins available so this is kind of the default login which is already there and this is the one which I'm using the current name because uh, this has been given as the default to the current user, the admin. Right. So that's all for the day. So your uh, SSMS could be installed very easily without any hassle. Right. Um, so you have to just go to the website, download it and just follow the steps. And uh, and you should make sure that it is there in this from the start. You are able to access that. And as of now, just, uh, you know, log into it with the help of the Windows authentication and there is an another option for you when you go for SQL Server authentication that we will see cover in the next video. Thank you so much.